Tonight, a first look at the terrifying subway attack caught on camera. You see this man in a yellow hoodie suddenly charging a stranger on a Brooklyn platform, knocking him onto the tracks. He survived. The people who were in that train car saw a samurai sword and ran for their lives. It's one of several recent horrifying subway attacks in just the past few weeks on trains, platforms and in stations. New York City subways have roared back to life after a lull during the pandemic, averaging more than three and a half million riders a day. But crime underground is also going up. In April, a mass shooting making national headlines. A gunman shot 10 people and injured 13 others after firing a handgun and setting off smoke canisters inside a train. The suspect pleaded not guilty to terrorism and weapons charges. Already this year, nine murders in the subway system, compared to just three for all of 2019, back before the pandemic. Thank you. This weekend, really New York City to, Mayor Eric uh, Adams vowing to protect commuters. New Yorkers need to feel safe and they need to be safe while they're riding the subway. The governor promising more police patrols and, and even cameras community. in each subway car. The crackdown comes with roughly 4,000 members of the NYPD set to leave by the end of the year. Tourists and New Yorkers alike now on high alert ahead of the busy holiday season. I gotta just keep my eyes open. It's unfortunate and I wish there was better safety measures, but I feel like it's hard to implement those with such a mass group of people. Kathy joins us live from Times Square. Kathy, how soon can we see New York's crime-fighting strategy implemented? Jose, it is already in the works. Officials say they have installed 200 cameras, and the goal is to equip the entire fleet of 6,500 subway cars with cameras by late 2024. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.